Hello everybody, what is going on? Bleaker here, and today I welcome you to Production Line. Kind of keeping with the uh, theme of my factorial playthrough and how I'm big into production and stuff, I figure why not play a game that has it in the name? And in for those of my uh, long-term fans, you know, fans, fans, you know that I am in competent when it comes to setting my timer, so I got that done. So, um, this game is all about building cars. That is all you do. You build varying cars, sell cars, it, it's great. I'm going to start a new game here. You do a small factory. I don't know what that was. Oh, that was me hitting it. We're going to do a small factory. And first things first, let's hit this button. We're going to have to do a resource importer. Now what this does is it, it, it does exactly as it sounds. It brings in resources. And I'll, I'll explain a little bit why I'm branching this like I am. But for the time being, like I stated, I need to build cars in this. So I'm going to do here is set up a chassis assemble. Now one chassis assemble should, in all complete honesty, hold you for a pretty much all of this game. I'm going to put that right there. Now you'll notice it says no route to the stockpile. So what that means is we got to take our resource conveyors here. and create that path. So if I do a resource conveyor here, the only major issue that I have with this, well, one of the major issues I have with this game is how it how it like tracks your resource importers. But now it's bringing in resources and you can see the robots are gonna start to build your, um, your chassis. You can kind of see them starting to do that there. And it'll use resources that are, that are from the resource importer. Now one of the things I found is if you branch off your resource importer right away, you can only import so many resources on a certain amount, on a pre, on a specified amount of conveyor. So by doing this, I immediately split it off, so it can import more faster. If that doesn't make sense, I'm sorry. Next thing is we're gonna have to assemble a chassis. One. Now I'm gonna put it over here. Oh, actually, no. Fit in the body. There we go. That's more like it. I was wondering why that looks so weird. So I am going to do... Yeah, this will be fine. There we go. I'll explain why I'm leaving so much room, and it'll and it'll be genius, and you'll be so proud of me. And I'll have tons of friends, and I'll be popular. So you'll notice how it says no route to stockpile. That just means, again, resource conveyor. And I already explained that, and I'm already losing focus of what this, I'm doing in this series. We're building cars, that's it. We're building cars. Next thing we need to do is our paint booth. Now I hate painting because it is the longest portion of this process. Yeah. I'm gonna give this a wide berth of room. Hook up our conveyor, bitchin'. And again, again, I'm branching off here, so that way, now you'll see, look at that. Oh weird. It's only kind of branching off. Now that I do have an issue with. Hang on. Let me get trigger happy here. Getting trigger happy with my erase button. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, the other thing I have an issue with is the erasing in this game. There we go. Uh, once again, chassis assemble. There. Much better. Everything is all separate. So then everything goes into the paint booth. Ooh, I don't have much money left. Let's get rolling on this. Get myself enough room here. We're going to bring this back over. And from here, I'm going to start importing resources from this side, so as to save up space. I'm going to do our fit engine. Put that down like so. Fit engine goes in there. We have no route to our stockpile, but rest assured, since I'm so good at this game, this is actually take two. I, I went bankrupt the first one, explaining. 
The next thing, you just kind of go down in order. Then fit electronics. Or fit accessories, actually. So we'll do that. Bring up another set for our resource importer. Not another uh, resource conveyor. There we go. That's got resources coming in now. And as you bring in resources, it costs money. Can't, obviously, right? And we got our fit electronics, which doesn't require anything. Our quality control. And then, last but not least, our export, which goes right here. Why, I don't know, but that's just how it be. Most people think it be like it is, but it do. There you go. This is a factory producing things. Cars, cars, yes, cars. Now, what do I want to do here is we're going to be, we're going to do a lot of waiting for vehicles here in the early game. You see, look at this, waiting for vehicle, running. This is kind of glitchy, and I and I don't like it. But uh, this is kind of our resource monitor, and like I, this game is in early alpha still, so let's actually speed this up a little bit. Waiting on resources. You'll notice that a lot of this is um, running, waiting on resources. That is a serious issue in this game: is waiting on resources, like this one running, waiting on resources, you'll notice it takes up a lot, a lot of time. Now what you can do is shorten the distance between your importing resources and your resources actually getting to their destination. How do you do that? Very, very simply. We actually have extra money right now. Paint. I'm going to throw in another paint booth. Why? Because this step takes forever. Let's merge that like that. Bitchin'. Now, like this thing, look at this. It's five five windows. It's got to pull in five. Ooh, my new design's done. Uh, we'll call it the BL48. And since I don't have any special features attached to it, it's the BL48 Basic. Or the BL48, yeah, Basic. Now, you can, like, set your premium, your discounts, like, what all you want to do. I find if you bump this up about 65%. You're making, a, you're making a pretty good profit. And especially this early game, when we're making stuff completely inefficiently, that's a good thing. Now you'll see my car is no longer on the market because that ticked from one to zero. Ooh, I can actually also afford to fit another body on here, which is what I'm going to do. And I probably just plunged myself into an insane amount of debt. I'm about to plunge myself into an, an absolute insane amount of debt here. Let's speed it up to watch my debt increase. Oh, am I going to go bankrupt? Am I going to go bankrupt? Nah, I think I'll be fine because this car is about to get done. And sell. 60. All right, we're going to pull. We're going to be fine. We are going to pull a profit. So, like I was going to tell you guys earlier, how you can shorten the distance between resources is very, very simple. You make a stockpile. What I'm going to do here is attach this stockpile to my resource, to my uh, resource conveyor, and then this thing uses nothing but paint. So you can go, the only, another downside, another grievance I have, I have lots of grievances with this game, is that it doesn't tell you like what a process uses up, it just tells you you have to pick what you want to stockpile. So I'm going to stockpile, since this thing only uses paint, I'm just going to stock the entire thing with nothing but paint. Because um, painting takes a very long time in this game, along with drying. Painting is going to be the longest process in this game. So to shorten that time, in the immediate, immediately to shorten that time, I'm just going to bring as much paint as I can, as quickly as I can, over to this area and make sure we never run out of paint. Well, you'll notice how this isn't actually filling up. That's because it's not attached. Ugh, you're kidding me here. The controls are very weird on this game. Or uh, very touchy, I should say. Not weird, touchy. The controls are perfectly fair, as I am morally obligated by the codes of YouTube to say so, otherwise get copyright infringed. Now, we're stocking up paint. Neat, huh? Up another car got finished. Very, very nice. Look at that. Look at that. We are going to be just fine. And car is on the market. Car is sold. We are pulling a profit. 
albeit a small one. Fit accessories is looking good. Now let's try and improve the efficiency a little bit of our fit body. Let's see here, what's it using up a lot of? One roof, that's not really worth stocking. Four door panels, that is probably worth something stocking. Let's go here to my supply stockpile. Huh. I just realized this conveyor is completely worthless right here because it won't actually track the resource over there. Huh. That sucks. Oh well. But for the time being, let's do this. Since this thing is using up um, five... What are those? Five mirrors? Did I see that correctly? Uh, one trunk, one front bumper, one rear bumper, two trim, two front arches, one vent, one roof, four door panels. So we'll do four door panels and five windows. So what we'll do here is we'll stock up our... We'll go to our stockpile, add an item. Let's do the four door panels. So we'll just stock up four. Since we've got two running, why don't we stock up eight just to stay on the safe side. And we'll also stock up door panels. I know these are going to require two trim, so well, let's not stock up trim. So we've got a rear bumper, two trim, two front arches, a rear arch, a vent, one roof, four door panels, got that, five windows, that was it, five windows, so we'll add that in, windows, let's do ten, excellent, so now when these run out, they'll request, request them, and since this is the most, like, I only prefer to do, like, items that have, like, more than one multiple, or have more than, like, two required, just to help cut down on time. See? And now look at that. We're running for a little... Oh, still waiting on resources. We appear to be running a lot more now. Look at that. We're still pulling a profit. Another qu good thing to do it on. Oh, wow. Look at that. We're getting backed up here. Look at that. Because this cannot keep up with this. Because we've only got one of these. And this is still a pretty long process. 55 seconds. So how long a fit engine is going to cost me? 134000 well, mm. well, let's see here. We know that this is gonna that it's waiting for resources, running, waiting for resources, waiting for resources. Look at that. That's where we get our waiting for resources. Four tire, four tires, four brakes. Ah, we can certainly make this a hell of a lot more efficient. So let's do once again another stockpile. I'll put it down here. Add an item. I know for a fact this is gonna use four brakes. For the future expansion that we're going to do here, we'll add an 8. You know it's going to require 4 wheels and tires. Tires is another one of the things. Just This is a trust me moment. I'm not an asshole. Just trust me. We'll just kind of stockpile all of these items. Oh, and then valves. It's actually going to use a lot of valves. Look at that. 8 valves. I think it uses... I don't know if it uses 8. Look at that. 4... How many valves does it use? Just tell me! That's the other thing. It doesn't tell me how much it's going to use of everything. Four valves. Alright, we can definitely stock four valves. Add an item. And valves. That way when it requests items, they're already partway there. Look at that. So we probably sped that up a little bit. But long term, we are definitely going to want to stick a fit engine in that game. Oh, Jesus, I just thought of another grievance I have with this game. When you go bankrupt, it goes bankrupt with almost no warning. So you have to be careful. Oh, God, I'm getting a backup. This um, fit engine is definitely holding me back here. I could certainly be pumping out a lot more cars if I didn't have to fit an engine in there. Who needs an engine? This is like the Flintstones. You know, just yabba-dabba do that thing. Just yabba-dabba do that thing. Jesus, it's no wonder I don't have any friends. Come on, engine. So we are kind of backed up with that, so... R&D, R&D is going to be expensive. 
Export, we're doing good. You know what, I'll show you the R&D department. Save me some time in the next episode. Because yes, I am going to make this a series. So just kind of shove this off in the corner. Now what the R&D department d can do is research stuff for you. Such as more robots, which you can put on certain things to speed up the process. Or paint specialization. So we can actually, like on paint, we can actually break it. Thank you. We can actually break it down into different steps. And you can improve these individual... The cumulate accumulation, all this time equals out. Like that, this time that it takes, plus this time, plus this time, plus this time, will equal 68.8 seconds. But then you can get upgrades on these individual steps to drop it down a, a couple, a good like 10 seconds, which again, makes things more efficient and saves you time. So if I'm not really pulling as much of a profit as I would have hoped, because I'm getting kind of, you know, bottlenecked right here, but that's okay. I'll run this for a while and save up some money so the next episode's a little bit more exciting. But if I go over here to research, and I'm actually going to research um, improved efficiency because that'll enable me a whole bunch of cool stuff like faster conveyors, faster importing, more efficient power plant efficiency, which doesn't really play into effect quite yet. But I'm just going to do, actually, yeah, improved efficiency and research. And then you generate like a quarter of a research point every second and that'll go into your 400 research points. It's actually pretty cool. So, unfortunately, that is all the time I have for this. Um, be checking back soon for more episodes of this. In the next episode, we're hopefully gonna fix this bottleneck and expand here, and I'll actually show you guys, I haven't done it quite yet, but I'll show you guys how to um, branch off of here, and we can do like different designs, because right now we're just making the BL48 basic. We can research, um, different stuff like um different luxury items like bluetooth entertainment that kind of stuff and actually charge even more for our cars and it's just gonna be great you're gonna love it we're gonna make a huge amount of profit it's just gonna be wonderful but that is all the time i have for right now guys um this has been bleaker guys be seeing ya <laughs>